Hi, Dirty Girl here with another vintage sales report for the month of June 2017. Uh, this is everything, not everything, this is a selection of items that I have sold on eBay and Etsy. I'm just showing you what I think are the more interesting or lucrative items and uh, mostly Etsy. I just have want to show you one thing from eBay which is already up here. This is a really cool old um, plaque wooden and it has a little bit of metal and a little bit of cinnabar lacquer and it's very very old. Yeah, my phone's making funny noises. Um, yeah, so anyway, I really didn't know what it was. I just figured it, it looked Chinese. It looked like maybe a dragon, and it looked old. And I put it on eBay, hoping that it would be something really valuable and take off. And I started the price at $25, and that's what it sold at. And I uh, paid $5 for it at the flea market. Um... Oh, and I always forget to mention this, but all of my prices uh, do not include shipping. The shipping is paid by my, the buyers, and the buyers pretty much pay what the actual shipping is. Um, and uh, the, the uh, prices are also before I pay any fees to eBay or Etsy. Fees range somewhere between 7 and 11%, I think I figured out at one time. I think that's still true, depending on on uh, which platform I sell from. But anyway, um, the buyer who bought this wonderful thing said, oh my gosh, this is so old, I am researching it, and I will let you know what I find out. So I haven't found out anything yet, but I thought it was really interesting, and uh, I'm glad that it found a, an appreciative home. Okay, moving right along to Etsy. Uh, this is a really nice sterling silver modernist ring with enamel. And it sold for $36, and I got it free from my sister-in-law. As you may or may not know, um, my in-laws, all of them crazy shoppers, uh, have so much stuff. And um, they're all, you know, getting older and wanting to declutter. And this is their answer to the problem, is shipping everything off to me. So I get, I get the benefit of their decluttering, and they send me some, a lot of really nice stuff. And this is a, a cameo. It's a beautiful real cameo in a sterling silver setting with marcasites. Uh, 800 silver, rather, not sterling. Almost sterling. And uh, this sold, uh, this was also from my, um, oh, this is from my friend. Uh, and that sold for $62. And this is a Zuni. Native American piece. It's inlaid stones in sterling silver pendant necklace. And I got this at the free, flea, flea market for $10 and I sold it for $32. And this is a set of Florentine gold gilded wooden carved wooden plaques from Italy. These ones are marked with the actual um, Florentia Florent, I don't know how you say it, but it's this brand. Uh, they're all marked. But the set of three plaques I paid $8 for, and they sold for $32. Uh, always use Hollywood Regency when I sell that Florentine stuff because it's gold and fussy, and, and so uh, that's a good tag to have. And this is a lovely sterling silver um, Victorian revival brooch, probably from the 1940s. And uh, let's see, it looks like I paid 56 cents for that. I must have gotten that in a, I think that came from a lot of jewelry I bought at an antique mall where they were just selling stuff in bags really cheap and they didn't really realize this was sterling, I think. Uh, this is an Asian snuff bottle I got at the flea market. I paid $6 for this and sold it for $42. It's just a really interesting old piece. Snuff bottles are very collectible, especially the really interesting looking ones. Seem to sell well for me. And this is a set of Civil War era binoculars. I believe on the haul video I was saying they were World War I, which is totally wrong. These are definitely uh, 19th century old, old. They would have originally had leather covering the brass, but they just have a neat look to them. I used steampunk as a 
um, as a tag and I paid ten dollars for these and sold them for fifty five may have undersold them a little bit I've seen some other pairs recently that sold for quite a bit more but they did sell quickly so that's always a good thing I sold this little made in Japan teapot from the 1930s it's that wonderful kind of celery green color that was so popular in the 1930s I paid five dollars for that at the flea market and sold it for 24 another Native American ring this one's uh, most likely a Navajo uh, with a coral and turquoise stones um, nice large size eight and uh, that one I paid 10 for at the flea market and sold it for 42 and this is a Peruvian woven wool rug with these great birds on it uh, this was something that came from my friends so I paid nothing for that and it sold for $45. I always continue to sell nice uh, gold picture frames. These are things that you can very often find at the flea, at, um, sorry, at thrift stores and garage sales for really cheap. And uh, it's kind of a bread and butter sale for me. Sold it for, I uh, paid $2 for it at a garage sale and sold it for $15. And this is a Victorian brooch, really pretty brass, Art Nouveau style, really nice metalwork. Um, paid $10 for that at the flea market and sold it for $34. I just included these because they're so cute. Little painted lead elephants. Uh, I put 1930s-ish, not really sure exactly when these are from. Uh, just thought they were had a nice look to them. I paid five dollars for those at the flea market and sold them for twenty two. These are some beautiful silver cufflinks, big octagon shape um, with a sp space for monogramming. The space hasn't been used so it could be monogrammed. Uh, nice uh, older Mexican silver. I did pay up on these. I paid $14 for them because I just thought they were gorgeous. and uh, But I sold them for $48, so that's pretty good. And this is just a cute uh, child's accordion. Hero is the brand. A uh, nice mid-century look to it. Um, that I paid $15 for and sold it for $35. Uh, this is a a um, ornithological print from the mid 1800s. I bought two of these at the same time. Uh, paid thirty dollars for the two of them, so fifteen dollars a piece, and uh, sold this one for. The other one was hummingbirds. It sold right away, and I think I sold it for a little more. This one I sold for um, forty nine dollars. And this is a marine barometer from Germany. Uh, it was not working at all. I did put that in the uh, title, but it had a great look to it, kind of a steampunk look, and um, maybe somebody could fix it or just use it for decor. I paid 20 bucks for it, and uh, that was a lot of money. Sold it for 45 so I made some profit on it. And this is a beautiful hand-carved wooden bowl. These are things that get overlooked a lot at estate sales and at the flea market. Sometimes you can pick up these hand-carved wooden primitives for really cheap, and they do. Uh, they're very popular in kitchen decor, and they sell well for me anyway. I paid $12 for this one and sold it for $45. And this is a flask. Um, things like, you know, men gifts like flasks and cigar cases always sell well for me. This one had, um, it's by Sheffield Rose. It's pewter, English pewter, kind of a sportsman. It had a, a trout fishing scene on one side, and I believe the other side had a deer. Was it fishy? No, it just had a, a fish. Um, so I paid $10 for this and sold it for 28 a nice piece of Murano glass. I just was fascinated by it because it was such a neat 
shape and it was kind of an unusual color this amber brown with the silver uh, like silver leaf flecks in it um, this one had the label on it still which is always a big plus with Murano glass um, if you can say for sure yes this is Murano it's got the label on it and sorry I'm trying to find it on the list um, okay I paid ten dollars for this and sold it for 31 it was a little very small this is just a marcasite sterling silver and marcasite ring looks sort of like an art deco uh, I think it was just marked uh, 925 so couldn't find out a lot about it but it, it had an art deco look to it uh, paid 10 for it and sold it for 48 it's pretty big hunk of silver these are some cute little Victorian pins I bought the lot of them for four dollars so that was a buck a piece for Victorian to Edwardian pins I especially love this little guilloche enamel bow in the nice color uh, this one had a stone missing I replaced the stone this one was a little enamel pin, like a lingerie pin. Uh, they were all little tiny things. And I sold a lot of them for $24. This was a hand-carved and painted wooden stork, kind of a primitive-looking little thing. I paid $5 for him at the flea market and sold him for $24. And this was a lovely very large turquoise ring Navajo Native American nice design with the feather motif uh, I did pay up on that I paid 25 for that and at the flea market and sold it for 58 dollars and I always bemoan that the um, cloisonne doesn't sell but I did sell a piece this is a matchbox and it's a really guilloche enamel also cloisonne. The guilloche enamel is the transparent with the machine etched metal underneath. It has a nice look to it. This was a nice piece. Uh, just had a really, you know, had like the variegated colors and it's just a just a pretty good quality piece. And let's see, I paid ten dollars for that at the flea market and sold it for twenty eight. And this was a sapphire and diamond ring although you know I didn't really have it tested I was just guessing about what the stones were uh, pretty sure that it was a sapphire but it may have been um, a, la a synthetic sapphire and the stones were probably diamonds I think they were somewhat inferior diamonds um, but they were uh, set in sterling silver with a gold gold plating on it I paid five dollars for that at the flea market and sold it for 45 and this is the last item this is um, a glass paperweight in the shape of an elephant uh, I think it was probably Murano it had the nice polished base and really good quality work and I paid eight for him at the flea market sold him for 24 if he'd had a Murano sticker I could have sold him for more but uh, decent enough decent enough sale okay that's it uh, I managed to come in under my 15 minutes this time yay uh, my shop is vintagedazzle.etsy.com and uh, I do have links to my shop on Etsy and my eBay shop also down below thanks for watching I'll be back soon with another haul video see you soon bye